Today we're going to start with an introduction to syllables and stress. Syllables. What are syllables? Syllables are beats in a word. So just like you clap to the music, you can clap the beats of a word. So we have one syllable words such as day or friend. We have two syllable words. For example, today, today, and friendship, friendship. And we have three syllable words, tomorrow, unfriendly, and there are four and five syllable words as well. Dictionaries show syllables in different ways. So you might see a space to show the break in the syllable. You might see a dash, and you might see a dot. But all of these ways are to show you how a word breaks into different syllables, in this case, two. Syllables come from the number of vowel sounds in a word. So you know what a vowel is, right? A vowel is A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y. But you probably know that in English, there are many more vowel sounds, right? For example, the I could sound like I, it could sound like I, right? Also, we put letters together, for example, two O's to make the OO, right? So syllables come from the number of vowel sounds, not the number of vowels. So how many vowels are in the word friendship? Can you count them? There's three, right? There's the I, the E, and the I. But there's only how many vowel sounds? There's two. Oh, come back. The I and the E together make one sound. It's not fry e, fry, fry end, right? No, it's eh, friend, eh. Only one vowel sound. And then here, ship, eh, eh, one vowel sound. There are two vowel sounds, and so there are two syllables. So let's practice. How many syllables do you hear in the word listen? Two, right? How about communicate? Communicate. We have four. Communicate. How about Speaking, speaking. You're right if you said two syllables and then understand. Oops, I did that one too fast. Three syllables. Right. So where do you put the break exactly? It doesn't matter. If I put the R over here or I put the S over here, that's not important. The important part is there's a vowel sound here, a. Uh. There's a vowel sound here, er. Another one here, a. Uh. So I break up the vowel sounds, and exactly where I break it, it doesn't matter too much. All right? So let's practice a little bit more. How about page? There's two vowels, but how many vowel sounds? Just one, right? It's not pod J. 
or pagi with page. With sa, we have two syllables, right? S A. How about sentence? Did you say two? You would be right. And the last one is paragraph. Paragraph. We have three syllables. Now I'm going to give you a chance to try some on your own. Next, we are going to talk about word stress. So when you stress something, you make it stronger. So word stress is about strong syllables. Every word has one syllable with the most stress. This is also called primary stress. The stressed syllable in any word is the strongest syllable. It's the clearest syllable. And it's the highest in pitch. So you notice when I'm talking, my voice goes up, my voice goes down. That's pitch. So stress is when my voice goes up, ah, 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 like this. So every word has one syllable with the most stress, with the primary stress. For example, we looked at the word friendship before, right? Friendship has two syllables. The strong stress is on the friend. So I say it a little higher, a little clearer, a little louder. Friendship, 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 right? Also, we looked at the word tomorrow. I don't say tomorrow. I don't say tomorrow. I say tomorrow. Tomorrow. So notice the way that I'm writing it. I'm putting all capital letters to show the strong stress. In the dictionary, sometimes there's a mark right here but I could not figure out how to type that. <laughs> it's much easier to do capitals. So what is the stressed syllable? Listen. Listen. It's on the first syllable, right? The lis. How about communicate? If I exaggerate, I will say, communicate, communicate. You can hear it goes up on the mu, right? On the second syllable, communicate. On here, we say, speaking. So the stress is on the first syllable, right? And then, how about this one? Understand understand. We put the stress on the last syllable. Understand. Understand. Right. How many syllables do you hear? And where is the stress? We've already talked about syllables. So now the question is, where is the stress? So this one's a bit of a trick question. Page. Where's the stress syllable? There's only one syllable, so the whole word is stressed. Right? If you have one syllable, you know which one is the stressed syllable. How about this one? Essay. Essay. Sentence. Sentence. Paragraph. Paragraph. So all of those examples have stress on the first syllable. Now it's your turn to try. 
So that was our introduction to syllables and stress. And from here, you will learn some more details.